Well, is, is that, I, I suppose it, it is a point gained, but should it have been more than one point? Um, yeah, possibly. Um, you know, you go one nil up away from home, and you can't expect to be a, I don't know, a little bit tighter. And then you know, the goals we conceded are from set pieces, um, which is obviously not good as well. You know, kind of the last week's result. Um, probably coming in, you know, three points would have been vital. Um, but as it stands, you know, going two one behind and coming back to get a draw, you know, I think you got to take that at the end of the day. But um, yeah, it's obviously disappointing. But um, you know, luckily enough, we've got game Tuesday now, and the games come a figure faster. And hopefully, get you know, three points. Not too many headers from you. How far out were you? I don't know. To be honest, I, I didn't have a clue. Um, I've just seen it in the end. I've, and I've attacked it really. Um, yeah, it was nice to score two goals today. Um, two different ones. Um, it would be nice if I had a chance for a hat trick, but it's me being greedy. But you know, the penalty. A lot of the fans around here didn't think it was a think it was a penalty. It was a. I would say it was one of the ones that I think you would. Just, would you describe it as soft? I, I I was from I was behind, so I didn't kind of see it. But I think it was similar to Russ's. I don't think the defender knew where Jace was. You know, Jace has knocked a bar, and, he, and he's he's um he's took him out and. There was definitely contact because I could hear, I could hear a noise. So I don't think that, you know, if you if you're going to kick someone, it's a pen like in um you know in my book. So you know, we're grateful for any any penalty decision that we get. In terms of their midfield today, they were very busy, you know, and caused you and JT quite, quite a few problems. Um yeah, I think you're always going to. We know what they're like. They're they've got some good tidy players here and. You know, every time I've played against Acton, you know they've been busy and lively. Um, so we knew that anyway at the start of the game. Um, you know that they, they had a few chances themselves. You know they're at home. Um, you know they're struggling, but from what I've seen from this season, you know it seems to be in a, in a false position. But you know that's how League Two is sometimes. Brownie said that he thinks at the moment that the, the draws are totting up, which means you're getting you know one point per game. But you've got to try and turn those draws into wins to make a difference. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, is it three draws out of the last five games or something. Yeah, um, six, you know, six out of the last nine, I think. Six out of the last. See, um, you know, if and I, I know you don't want to lose a game, but if you you're losing two of them and turning a couple of them into wins, then you, you know it's better for you. Um, yeah, no, it's good. Obviously, not getting beat, but um, you know, especially lately, the games that we have drew, uh, you know, have been seen as winnable games. So, um, but like I said, we got a game Tuesday and. No, we don't tend to do things easier, so um, we'll have to go up there and you know and get three points. Well, one thing about it is, I suppose, if sides are in the top half, as Brownie said, you've got a lot of top half teams to play, including Fleetwood. They need three points too, so they can't shut up shop either. No, I, just, I just wonder whether that that actually helps you a bit. Yeah, I think it does. Um, you know, when we're playing at home, um, sides are a bit more um, kind of compact and and solid. Um, you know, and today, you know, you see playing playing a team that's you know struggling it down there. They're at home. They're they kind of went all out and went for it, and um, yeah, generally it should give us more space to exploit. So um, yeah, you know we played them beginning of the season, um, drew against them, and they said they're up there and they'll be gunning for it and they're not being tight. And like I said, well, we need we need the frequency as well. So I don't think we'll obviously we will be tighter than probably what they are being away. But um, yeah, we need to start going on a run now. Um, you know it's good not getting beat, but we definitely need to turn these draw, draws into wins. Just lastly, I think that you made the point about if, if, if they're going to press up, that creates more danger for you, but it might open up more more opportunities to get better service to the forward players. Yeah, um, I think we need to start getting a few more crosses in. Um, really, you know, Byron's a big lad, and I don't, <laughs> you're not really giving them a, a lot of crosses in. And, you know, so is Benno. Benno's great in here. Um, I think we linked up with them better today. Um, you know, more balls into their f into their feet. You know, Barham was hand for You know, Benno had some great flick on. So um, obviously they're still adjusting, they're still a new partnership. But we, don't <laughs> you know, we ain't got too much time to kind of make things work. We have got to kind of hit the ground running now. And um, so like we've got a lot of Tuesday um, Tuesday games and you know Saturday games and you know, a nice win and run you know, would be vital at this stage. And this is the last one. In the Benson Harrison partnership, how does Mark see that knitting together? Who is the who uh, is one meant to play off the other? Um, I think it varies them too. Um, I'd say um, Byron's a bit more agile, so but he can do a bit of both, obviously. And you know, like I said Benno's kind of had his roots at Dagenham, where he's a, 
you know, good at holding up the ball, but you know, you flick it on and put it in the behind. So I think it varies really, whether it's you know, whichever side they're playing on. You know, one, you know, you know, generally you're hoping one's coming to show for feet and one's spinning in behind. So we um, got a, a variety of um, um, balls to give them. Grand. Thank you. Mile on the first brace of your career, I think, isn't it? First, yeah. First, definitely first for Cheltenham, and so how pleased are you with that? Yeah, very pleased. Um, I've always, um, you know, I hope to, I've, I've scored goals, you know, and I hope to go and get another one. Um, I was rooming with Daz last night, and you know, he's playing football manager, and uh, I was scoring a few goals for him, really. I think, like, um, so he kept on nudging me, saying I scored again. Um, so I think that inspired me, really, um, to go and score a brace. Yeah, obviously their fans weren't happy with the penalty decision. And what was that like stepping up in front of that? And it's not a very big stand, but they make a bit of noise behind there, don't they? And you have to just tuck it away, send the keeper the wrong way. Yeah, they're um, they're very vocal, and you know they get behind their team. And um, you know, I'm pretty sure you know every penalty I've, I've took, um, it has been in the uh, into the home fans. Um, yeah, I, I was kind of contemplating with to change my mind because you know I've had I've had a few and I've, I've gone that way now, but. Um, I think I get in the keeper's head a bit, and I kind of make he thinks I'm going that way. That's why I always you know, just place it the other side. Yeah, how pleased are you that everything settled down now and you're just back playing every week? And you seem you, you seem to be enjoying your football. Yeah, you know I'm over the moon. Like, you know, when I spoke before, it's, that's all I wanted to do. At the end of the day. I want to oh, I want to be playing football, and you know I've been happy. Um, you know, since I've come in the side, um, you know I've, I think I've done done what I could. Um, and you know that's all I want to do. I want to be you know playing football and hopefully playing well and you know hopefully I can c continue a good run of form now it's end of the season. Yeah, bit of a frustrating time obviously. You, had, you weren't sure what was happening and then you had to sit on the bench for a couple of games. So is it, you ta have you taken that out a little bit since you come back in the team? You know, taking that frustration. Yeah, possibly. Um, you know, it, you no know, one wants to sit on the bench and you know like I said, I've, I think a, a lot of times this season the people may have doubted me and written me off but um, you know it only spurs you on and um, you know I'll, I want to play well every game regardless of how I'm doing so um, that wasn't the case but yeah maybe there was a bit of doubt about me so um, you know, it's always nice to three people run and you know, uh, you know I've been is it three games in now so um, you know, hopefully I, you know, I think I've done well, um, enough to keep my place and you know every game and uh, I'll um, you know, play now every game to the end of the season. Yeah, and you did say that when the, the move first came back, you said to the manager, you know, it's a shame that you're not going to get a chance to finish the job. Now you know you've got 12 games here left, yeah. at least, and um, you know you want to finish off that job of getting promotion. Yeah, that's it now. Um, you know, 12 games here, you know, it's going to fly by. It's only a couple of months left, but um, you know, we've got we've got to really make sure we're getting a good run now. Um, you know, it's so tight in our league, as, as everyone knows. Um, but it's vital where we will win some games and go on a decent run, you know, the likes of Burton, um, so I think they've won 700 shot now. Um, that's what you got to do in this league. There's uh, there's no team that's really stood out this season, um, really compared to last year. Um, so we, we've got to make sure we, we're doing something better or we'll go, on, we'll go on that extra mile. We'll, we'll make sure we're a, a bit more quality on the game day to make sure we get the win. Yep, it's almost March. You've got one more game in February, and you know March last year was probably the only point in the season where you had a bad run, wasn't it? And you did have a very bad run. So if you can make a big improvement on that, it'll make a big difference between now and the end of the season. Yeah, fortunately, um, you know, at the minute we're not. I wouldn't say we're in a slump, but obviously we're not. We're not. We're not firing up all cylinders, and you know we can't keep on saying that. So um, yeah, I don't, I don't think we. I don't think we will um, this year. I think you know we're batting on well. Like we battled well today. Um, you know to. To get something out of the game, so um, I can't see that happening. And you know, after the position it put on us in last year, um, obviously none of the boys want that to happen. So you know, we're determined to you know go one better. Um, I know there's still a lot of um, work to do, but you know, as a team, as a, like the management, we're all determined to put that work in and you know make sure we give ourselves a right good go to be up there. Um, you know, within a chance of the last few remaining games. Yep. Cheers, Mark.